Launching a week-long series that we're calling the five things you never heard of that could change your life. We're going to cover everything from investment options to household hints. But today we're starting with five foods that could make a big difference in your life. And Andrew Zimmern is the host of the Travel Channel's Bizarre Foods program. Andrew, good morning to you. Good morning, Meredith. Now, some people may look at this as bizarre foods or not know what they are, but you say they can really change your life, beginning with alligator and crocodile. Yeah, and it's changing the lives of people all over the world, just not yet here in this country, and, and I think a lot of cases these foods will. Uh, saltwater crocodile from Australia. Uh, this is alligator meat, both farmed, and this is from the southeastern United States. Here it's in a traditional sort of Cajun bayou-style mm -hmm. sauce piquant with some rice if you want to try it. People see these foods as sort of gimmick foods over the last 15, 20 years in jerky sticks or or alligator sticks, but it's high in protein, it's low in cholesterol and saturated fats, it's healthier for you than chicken or any other red meat or pork for that matter, and it really is inexpensive. And I, think I was just going to ask you how expensive is it? it yeah. It's inexpensive, it's being farmed in great numbers right now, they, they can't even give it away. I think this is the next big super protein in this country. People have a psychological predisposition not to eat reptiles, and exactly. I think that's unfortunate. Okay, and they should, is what you're saying, go out Absolutely. and get it and it tastes good. Absolutely, it's available in the freezer section of a lot of markets, and it's very good for you. Tastes a little like chicken? Uh, very much like okay. chicken. Uh, this is a phenomenal superfood. This is sea laver. This product right here in this bag is from Maine. Uh, you can see the dried seaweed right here this on the table. This is popular in other countries right now, isn't it? Very, very popular. Good. In Japan, it's turned into nori for making sushi. In the British Isles, it's uh, called sloke and, uh, or sea laver or lava bread. And it's actually, if you just want to try a little of that, just take a bite. It's cooked Ooh. into a paste and then it's it's formed into a patty with oats and fried in a little bit of oil or bacon fat. The That's thing is, good. it's phenomenal. It is loaded with minerals, more minerals than any other food we know of. And it has alginic acid, which, which binds. What, yeah. it, it actually binds together all the poisons and toxins in your body and flushes them out, rendering them indigestible. So it's like a super cleaner of food. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, this is a, a fruit from South America that is probably the hottest food in America right now. If you don't, if you haven't heard of acai now, you're going to hear about it in the next couple months. This it, is the ultimate superfood, from what I understand, right? Uh, one of them. Uh -huh. I think it's the second most ultimate superfood. Okay. We're getting to the, to the ultimate one. Um, this one has ten times the antioxidants that grapes have and twice of blueberries or pomegranates, which are famously the ones that everyone holds up as the super uh, food when it comes to fruit loaded with vitamins, increases circulation, and of course, most importantly, lowers inflammation. So it's sort of like uh, the aspirin of the jungle. Let me taste this one now. But you can't eat the berries like you would a blueberry? Uh, no, not the same way. It has to be cooked and pureed, but it's available in paste form, sorbet, juice, concentrate. Very you can sweet. add it to smoothies. You can make it into vinaigrettes. You can marinate food in it. You could just chug a little bit of the sweetened juice. And where would I find this if uh, I want it now in the States? Any health market is carrying it now, and conventional supermarkets are now carrying Asahi juices, sorbets, concentrates, and smoothies are very popular everywhere now okay. with Asahi. Yerba mate. This is the superfood. Right? <laughs> well, well, popular in the 60s, um, it's steeped like a tea, but it has the caffeinated properties of coffee. It also aids in digestion, helps your skin. It's drinking communally, usually, out of this, a bombadillo, this gourd with a little straw, if you'd like to try some. It's so sort is of a South American clever thing? thing. Exactly. Popular in Paraguay and Argentina. But here's the amazing thing. It has the fatigue-fighting benefits. You don't like the taste. Not over. It's, got, it's like green tea. It's got the fatigue-fighting benefits of coffee, but it doesn't stress your central nervous system, and it doesn't stress your muscles. So you can drink it before a workout, you can mix it in with juices, and it doesn't take away from healthful benefits of other foods the way coffee does, and to some cases the way tea does. Okay. Now this is the one that nobody really knows about that I think is going to take the country by storm over the next couple of years. Kupuwasu, known in the Kupuwasu. Amazonian rainforest as the pharmacy in a fruit. It's similar to the cacao tree. It has a taste sort of like uh, a cross between chocolate, passion fruit, and bananas. Go ahead. What is it, the though? Folks, it's this giant, we have a picture of it on the screen. It's this big giant uh, melon that's in the cacao family, and it has this white puree inside when you grind up the fruits. 
And it's really a phenomenal food. Now, this it's stuff very sweet. destroys free radicals and is so high in antioxidants. This, this literally will cure anything that ails you from improving the texture of your skin to cleaning out your GI tract. And what's most amazing about this is that it's not yet popular here. This is the next great superfood. And is this coming here to the States? It is. It's, you know, in fact, in New York, we had to find the folks at Churrascaria Plataforma were kind enough, a Brazilian restaurant, mm -hmm. to make some of this uh, for the show today. You can't even find it in New York. When you can't find something in New York, you know it's rare. But they're now beginning to import this out of the jungle. There's a huge, huge farm uh, system down in the Amazonian rainforest to support this kind of thing. So it also does well to put money into the hands of those that need it. I absolutely love this Yeah, it's stuff. almost too sweet for me, but it's very good. I can see this doing well in the States. Well, it's, see, they, they sweetened this. The raw puree right here is not very sweet at all. If you actually want to nick into there. Okay. This beats the stuff you normally bring on, the crickets and all that <laughs> stuff, which I noticed you had a but see, uh, but see, these are all alternative ooh, foods, you know. Well, it's like passion fruit. Why'd you have me eat that? Because it's like passion fruit with a cocoa finish. No, it's not. It's like, the, there's a word for that, but it's not passion fruit. Here's, here's the thing. We spend so much time seeking out alternative energy sources yes. in this country. Why not alternative foods? We're going to have to find a way to increase the healthful benefits of what's put on our table, and we're going to wash it down with your exactly. mate. And we're going to have to find a way to feed people in an inexpensive way, well, you're high right. in protein and healthy and foods. And the, the biggest obstacle, obviously, is the mindset of Americans, oh, which absolutely. is why you're here to help absolutely. us with Absolutely. All right, Andrew. Andrew Zimmern, thank you very much. Thanks. And tomorrow, five phone numbers you've never heard of that could change your life. I need poison control right now. No, I don't. It's good.